Yep, no yeah. belt. So that's the so. thing with the national comps is uh, they just, I think they do a, like a, they just kind of sort the brackets out, like whatever. What's good? It's just random, which I understand it should be random. Um, and then, yeah, people just kind of go off. To so there's no style. seating. But, yeah, there's no seating. And, oh, okay. Yeah, you, you might have like, um, shout out to Hung, Harvey. You bought like, I'm pretty sure like um, a few national comps ago, his first guy he got was Jung Pham, the um, black belt, oh, German okay. dude. Yeah, there you go. He, that was his first match. Cool, you know. You yeah. to get it out of the way. Like, all right, cool. I'm gonna go sit with my team now. So, yeah. yeah. Um, I was lucky. I didn't have anyone that was too, like, out of my thing. And that's the thing. It's good exposure, right? Like, even if you are a white belt and you are gonna get like shut down in the first minute by a black belt, that's exposure. That's value. That's valuable. Being able to do it in a comp setting, I think. Yep. Yeah. And how many weight classes were there? Do you know? I oh, let me. I okay. I don't know, but I can know. 52, 59, 62, 69, 70. Oh, no, not 69, 77, 85. And then I think there's that, that upper range. Oh, no. Oh, there's, okay. I think under 95 and then plus 95. Okay. Yeah, I think that so was about what it was. eight or nine. Yeah. Class. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, it's pretty, pretty in, good. And uh, how, how long has Jiu Jitsu been a part of this? Vietnam National Combat I, Sports Championship. Yeah, I I don't know. I think it was recent because a lot of these people, uh, national athletes, um, they they their roots are more in judo or wrestling and stuff, and so they've just kind of made the transition to jujitsu recently. I don't know how long jujitsu national competition has been. I think it's been about maybe ten or fifteen years, but again, don't quote me on that. Mm -hmm. Um, but it is, but then that you know that that's that interesting like product that we get right. We get like a jujitsu rule set. You get to play the guard and all that. But and and how does that manifest when you've got someone who's spent their whole life doing wrestling, um, national wrestling or national judo or whatever in the country? And it's just because like yeah, Vietnam for example has a much more deeper judo history than it has a jiu jitsu history. Yes. Whereas it's again we compare it to the Philippines, they've also got a very deep uh, judo history. They've also got a just as deep jiu jitsu gi history. Um, yeah. No gi, for example, in the Philippines it's more newer. Uh, so. But it's interesting how that manifests because then you get these black belts who have like always been doing the gi yep. and now they're doing no gi and they're definitely having success, but they're definitely, they will definitely have holes that come uh, yep. from, you know, not from being more gi, gi orientated. Yep. Um, Vietnam, on the other hand, like I feel like the gi and the no gi are kind of, actually no, right now, no gi is definitely the more. <laughs>